Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Now today, we have Crafter Anonymous, who is on the NA server. He is a friend of ours. He is, uh, well, a friend of the Indignant Clan over on NA, which I am, of course, involved in with Beaver and uh, all of that lot. It's like the NA group, alright? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to say. Uh, but yeah, he is playing his Type 59, as we can see. We are on Erlenberg. Uh, it's tier 8 and 7. Uh, pretty even spread teams, I'd say. Apart from the Tiger 2 against Sonoho. That's a bit dodgy. But other than that, everything seems to be pretty balanced or not balanced you know what i mean kind of fair uh and rt has why is the map so small what the fuck and the enemy m40 m43 has killed the ally wz131 already what the fuck happened there you know what i'm gonna take that back just to find out he gets spotted 404 and then the rest of his health deleted okay well, we're a scout down, the only scout in the game, so obviously the T-71 manages to spot him. Oh, maybe the Udez did. Look how close that Udez was to him. Oh, okay, and the Udez just got penned by the own knee. Fuck, you know. And there's the Leo. Okay. Now, Crafter's playing very cautiously over on this one line. He does have, uh, what's that? An SU-12244 and a Leo behind him to back him up um and he's spotted okay the t71 is over here he's in e1 d1 he's on that island because there's no way crafter was spotted from anywhere else poking through that little gap there or maybe those bushes back on like the edge of c1 to d1 but that's some bullshit He's got to be careful poking around this house a little bit to see what's over here. But he is angled. So if it is the T-71 who for some reason would decide to shoot, then he would bounce him. He's got to be a little bit careful of Artie if he does get spotted as well though. Because as we saw, the M40, M43 has a keen interest uh, in what's over this side. I'm surprised the GW Panther doesn't, given he was over in B2. <clears throat> But it's starting off, you know, quite quite steady. It's only 1-1 one, one, uh, to either team. And we're pff, almost three minutes in. So everyone's being a bit bit cautious. Uh, and actually, looking at the map. Okay, he's just bounced the tier 7 Scorpion right in front of him. Who's also on that island. And he, yep, he's letting the team know that's where they are. The U doesn't Leo have now been spotted properly by the Oni from the middle. Um, and the Tiger 2 just died as well. But he was over here with the IS and the Pantera shooting against two T29s and an FTP, uh, 50 TP. Uh, the Ohos charging the Oni. There's a Yag Panther over here as well. And there's a Medium and a TD over on the Zero line that aren't spotting anything at the moment. And Crafter just took his first shot of the game, I believe, towards the direction of that scorpion, who bounced him yet again. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh... I'd be a little worried. I'd be a little worried about where that, uh... Artie's looking. And he somehow got spotting assistance on that Oho all the way over there. He's trying to reverse up a bit of a hill, see if he can get a shot on the Yag Panther. And he actually gets penned by the Scorpion that time, but the Scorpion reveals his position. That's a nice shot into the Scorpion there. Obviously, he didn't hit him with the blind shot the first time, because the Scorpion is much closer to the edge of the map. But he knows where he is now, so he can poke out. He gets penned by the Scorpion again. Where did he pen him? Oh, lower plate. Okay. Uh, but that took out Crafter's driver, so he has to heal him, obviously. And he's got to be a bit worried that the 50TP and the T29 have just absolutely stormed 
Uh, stormed across the bridge and coming down the six line now into an 87 and a scorpion. Because other than just that medium over on the zero line, his whole team is just sitting back here. He is the second furthest forward uh, player on his team. And the Leo's come charging in. He wants a, he wants a little jewel. This should be interesting. Uh, so he's keeping an eye out on what's been spotted over there and if he can see it. And this is quite nice. I like this. He's looking over towards the T29 and 50 TP, but he's also keeping an eye on the Leo. He's keeping the Leo in shot to see when he moves so he can do that. Snap the gun back round. Here we go. Oh, he actually worked. He baited him. Oh, that's a fantastic little play. I like that a lot. And there's the Leo. And he didn't track him that time, but he did crit him. And the Leo's decided to switch to APCR and actually pens uh, Crafter. Which is rather annoying. But I find it interesting that the Leo was sitting in K1, literally right behind Crafter, just over there, and he would have had shots at this Leo, but the Leo ran away. Oh, and the Lorraine puts in a lovely shot on the Leo there. I'm pretty sure it actually just splashed him to death, but uh, Crafter's keeping an eye out on the 50 TP again. Can't see him, unfortunately, because there are buildings in the way, and there's a GW Panther that is taking a keen interest. And the GW Panther's actually moved over yet. Yeah, there we go. Craft is pinging it, letting the team know, letting Artie know as well. Um, not that Artie will do anything, or the team will do anything, because they're all in the fucking J and K line, apart from him. And the Leo that was behind Crafter, that went and ran over to the other side, has now died. Because of course he has, he called Artie fags and then died. He's a fucking retard. He's a fucking moron. <coughs> Excuse me. But it does seem that a few of the TDs are, you know, somewhat capable of defending. Uh, that SU-12244 has two kills. Uh, the T-34 to get fucked, the Chinese TD has one kill. And the Lorraine RT has three kills, which is quite surprising. Um, Crafter, he's lost quite a lot of health. And not done a huge amount of damage as of yet. What the fuck was that bounce? Okay, he bounced the SDRVS1 somehow. Uh, and I was just about to say, Artie's going to take an interest in him in a minute, I'm going to guess. Apart from the M40, M43 just killed the uh, Chinese TD. But I think Crafter is making the right play to come back into this corner with the rest of his team. So he can help the SU and the SU can help him. And they can kind of defend Artie. Because Artie does... Well, the Lorraine, at least, seems to be being useful. No skill cocksuckers in Artie. Fuck this game. This is war underscore I underscore or. You can't spell warrior because he's a fucking retard. Like I said. He's just a dickhead. I bet you he's done fuck all. The STRVS1 actually managed to get a shot on the Lorraine. So that S1's probably moved up towards where Crafter was before. And uh, that's quite interesting. He must have been spotted by something. Maybe that T71 might have pushed up as well. Uh, Crafter looking for a shot on the T25-2. Gets it. And he's coming right up to back up this SU-12244. Who seemingly doesn't need the help because he's able to get the kill. But Crafter is... Oh no, it's not the T71. The T71's over here, isn't he? Oh, that's interesting. So the Scorpion or the S1 must have spotted that Lorraine. But the T71 is probably one that's capping and Crafter is coming in to uh, say hello. And there he is. He spots him. Puts one into him. The T71 misses one and bounces one. And Crafter can pick him off. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. First kill for Crafter. 1.3k damage. He's starting to uh, starting to mix it up now. I th I think he's sort of coming into the game a lot more now. I mean, this first position in G1, not that it was a bad position, but personally I wouldn't have gone there. I feel like 
you know, it's not an easy place to run away from, which he had to do. He got lucky bouncing the S1 and the RT only splashing him and tracking him. But I think he made the right call to come back and he's now playing, well, pretty much as he needs to. And he's loading the APCR for the STRV S1 because he can't, um, he can't overmatch the S1. So he's either going to have to go round and get his side or he's going to have to hit the cupola of the S1. And this SU-1 T244 is somehow spotted and both RTs are going for him. But I think these two should... Well, I don't want to say they're going to have this game in the bag because fuck knows where that Scorpion is going to be. And the enemy M40, M43 seems to have been getting some nasty pens on people. And uh, Croft is seeing if that issue wants to push, but he kind of goes and then backs up. Uh, I'd At this point, I'd want to know where the S1 is. I'd try and proxy him at least by the house. There we go, there he is. Uh, <laughs> and he gets splashed. I'm going to guess that was the GW Panther, given that was quite a short stun time. And the score he's just bounced the Scorpion, who is in fact over in this direction. He's by the cap, but not capping, which is a smart idea, obviously, because we would have still assumed he was over here. But it does mean they should try and push this S1 and the SU-122, uh, yeah, the SU-12244 has pushed in, wasn't able to pen the S1. GW Panther on the enemy team kills the SU-12244 and tracks the STRV S1. So he wasn't able to repair and turn to look at Crafter, so Crafter can pick him off. And that is very nice. Now he is in more control of where he can go. So he's not sort of held in one position by the S1 and not able to move around because of the Scorpion. Now he can take apart this Scorpion as on how he wishes. He takes a hit from the Scorpion coming over, puts one into him and rams him. I was going to say repair very quickly because there's the fucking arty again. They have just been raining down from fucking everywhere. But arty was fine from over here, so I'm going to guess he moved over to a six area. Um, but Crafter is just putting the castle between him and either of them. And Oh wow, the GW Panther moved right up. And he's decided he's going to try and spot for the M40, M43. And the M40, M43 could even splash uh, Crafter and probably kill him. And he only stunned him for 10 seconds. Where did that shell land? Oh, camera, you little cunt. Okay, the shell landed there. So the shot either has come from over here or has come from over this direction. Now my guess would be the M40, M43 is over on this hill line. Sort of over by D, D8, D9 around there. That's my guess. I don't know if Crafter was able to pick up where that shell came from. But he is making his way into cover in the city, which I think is a safe thing to do anyway, rather than driving through this uh, open field to maybe try and come round <clears throat> and be outspotted by the arty, which would be very sad, given he has got up to 2.2k damage. He's really uh, come into his own in the end of this game and has really worked for the team. He's got four kills as well, and it seems he wasn't able to decide where that arty was firing from. I guess in the heat of battle he wouldn't have been able to go on, hmm, he just fired, where did that, where's that most likely to have come from? He was just like, holy fuck, he splashed me, but didn't kill me. <laughs> Which is probably what I would do anyway, like, you don't know I'm not that good a player, so I'd have just been like, holy fuck! But I think he's making the right call to come over this side. I just want to see him get up on that hill. Because then he'd have more of an overlook if he's come like down here and tried to sort of like switch sides. 
or if he was maybe up here. That's just what I'd do. But, you know, you get some arty that decide to switch sides and try and run around the map. You get others that just sit in the corner like little cunts. So we'll see where this M40, M43 is. I'd maybe like to have seen HE be loaded as well, you know. It is only 50 pen, but if he hits him in the side, then he should be able to... Oh no, he'd still need two shots. 330 average. Oh no. 20 seconds left. 10 seconds. He needs to find him now to be in with a chance of killing him. Oh my god, I don't think he's going to fall. Oh, there he is. He's on 193. One second. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Crafter. Oh my lord. One second left. He killed the last arty to win the fucking game. Jeez. <laughs> okay, there we go. 2.3k damage. Look at that. I mean, phew. it was a slow start. Fuck me, that that uh, that end got quite quite interesting. <laughs> Jesus, well played to Crafter. Well played. Uh, yeah, very nice game in the Type Fifty Nine. Almost two point four k damage, winning the game for your team. I mean, that SU one two two forty four. It would have been nice to have still had him alive towards the end, uh, but he played pretty well anyway, especially for a tier 7. Uh, he was killing a few of the tier 8s and actually, you know, playing well, unlike the rest of the team, especially that dickhead in the Leo, the fuck, Mr. Retard himself. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you lot see how he did in the uh, post battle results. But yeah, hopefully. Uh, uh, Hold on a second, John. Fucking hell. I would like to say thank you to uh, Crafter for this game. Well played. And yeah, hopefully you lot enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.